spoiled it once you put the badge on. He was the owner and they thought, oh, well, you could go now where he wanted to and you could meet all you wanted to. And you felt good. Never gone to a race course before. Go back or anything like that. When we got there, there was crowds of people there. We should have. I hope he don't let us down now. He just held his head so high and he looked as if to say, This is where I belong. And it was, you know, thinking, Oh, he thinks he's a star. <laughs> when are they first time they come on a race course, I look at the form book and I look at the stallion and normally you look down at the mare, oh, she ran four or five times, she comes second and she won a race and she's retired to stud. So when Dream Alliance runs out of a mare called Rubel, you have a look and you notice it's ran three times, it's finished tailed off last, tailed off last and pulled up. You think, you know, she must be the slowest horse in the country. I didn't fancy that was going to produce anything any good. I was sort of um, on tender hooks. I never thought about winning. I was more concerned that he wouldn't be last. The syndicate let me pick the colours. I wanted gunmetal grey and maroon. A lot of them didn't like them. They said they looked bland, but I liked them, so I didn't care. <laughs> And the tech goes back and they're off and they've all got away. The Grace Jewel is a bit slowly into her stride. Another one a little slowly away with Johnny's pride. And then Panat, another one at the back as they go through this first quarter mark. Idris is close up in behind these on the inside of Sun Pad and Dream Alliance as well there. So too is Double Dizzy. I honestly had to lean on the fence because my heart was pounding, I was sweating. This was it, he was running. Runner Vista back there on the inside, tracking these leaders is Dream Alliance. Up and on the wide outside is Double Dizzy. And there he is coming up. We was sort of lobbing along and his old head was going back and forth, his tongue hanging out. A classic court and Runner Vista, those are the leading pair. Dream Alliance still there towards the inside and making threatening moves too. And as they came into the straight with half a mile to go, he probably had three behind him. I remember the jockey gave him just a tap. And then all of a sudden, here he comes. In now about three or four lengths from Sun Patton at high altitude, having a good battle. That is only for the minor almost because Inaro gets to the line in front by about three. High altitude is in second place. And then in behind these is Dream Alliance. It was like as if, oh, I quite like doing this. And, and off he went. And he came forth. We were over the moon very pleasantly surprised from what I was expecting. First time it ran, you think, well, this horse has run a storm, it showed a lot of promise. Was it a fluke? You know what I mean? You think second time is sure to can't run so well, can it? And then you find out a little bit more. Takes her up and they're off. Oh, this horse was bred and brought up on an allotment. How can that possibly be a success? <laughs> when he started racing, he was the village's horse. Because everyone would say, when's the horse running now? And well, I used to tell him everything I would. I never looked on him as our horse. To me, he belonged to anyone in the village that wanted to follow him. So more than that, he will be lining up with the others. Walking out onto the course now for our final race today. They couldn't wait for him to race again. It was something happening in the village. Like 
If anything, I'd say you got us closer. This year, what's running around is a fault. It was something coming out of their village doing good, instead of just forgotten. I was 15 years of age when I left school and we went straight down into the training centre in the collieries. At the beginning it was frightening because you'd, you'd go down there, you think, where am I going? Like, you know, you'd be stuck at about a dozen of you. It's a hot work and stinking work. Like. The life was hard, but the community was close. Well, they just got fed up with conditions in the pits and the money. So they all decided, click together, we'll go on strike. One long after, they was all shutting down, left, right and centre. Once the pits shut, you could forget it. You might well flatten it and build a building site, which they've done in most of the places. You know, it's... Nothing here.